Hello everyone and welcome to Pawfology. I hope you're having a good Saturday, a good weekend. Today I'm going to be making these uh, German pretzels by Kathy. It's a baking mix and I hope to, you know, get pretzels that look like this. So that's what I'm doing right now. I got my uh, mixer out because it tells me to use an electric mixer with the with a dough hook. So, and to do that for three minutes. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that and we'll see how they turn out. I saw, uh, Evelyn, I saw that you asked about these Thai sweet chili veggie burgers from Trader Joe's. So I got these last week and just my thoughts on them and how they taste. Uh, they taste very good. They are, so they're a, they're vegetable and rice blend with a Thai chili sweet sauce. And uh, they don't, so it's very good, it tastes good. It doesn't seem very nutritious, I would say. It kind of, okay, this is my honest opinion. It tastes like a hush puppy. That's what it tastes like to me. So it tastes like a hush puppy. It does taste good though. So it, but compared to like, uh, your black bean burgers or your burgers that kind of have a bit more protein with that texture to it. This is kind of soft. So if you don't like that, you might not like, if you don't like soft veggie burgers, you might not like this, but if you don't care and it's whatever, you'll like it. I mean, for what it is, I would say it's probably like a seven out of 10. So that's my thought on that. It's, it's good. It's good. We'll probably eat it over the next month or so. Uh, so yeah. Um, now I'm going to be making this dough. It just, so here's, I might've said this already, but it comes, this mix comes with the pretzel dough mix, the yeast, the salt, and the lye. So it's just these three things. And right now you're supposed to add the instant yeast together and the mix together and some water and oil. And you mix that for three minutes. Then you let it rise for 30 to 40 minutes. And then after that, you can uh, make it into pretzels or pretzel sticks or pretzel bread, I guess. I mean, it says you can do whatever you want with it. So pretzel rolls, so you can do that. And then after you kind of form it, you let it rise for 20 minutes. And oh no, after you form it, you put the lye on there. So you put this lye on it. What's, you mix it with some water and then you let it rise for 20 minutes and then you bake it or you put salt on it and then bake it. So I think it's going to be good. You know, I don't know what, what separates this from just regular flour. I'm sure it's like a different baking soda mix or something or wheat. It's wheat flour, sugar, salt. That's what it is. Wheat flour, sugar, and salt. Okay. Maybe it's sweeter. I don't know. So I'm going to get started. I'm just gonna put this in this bowl. And I already measured out my water. And it told me to do seven eighths of a cup, which is real weird, of water. Uh, 210 milliliters of water. So I used a scale and I measured out the water. And it's, it's oddly specific, you know? So I try to get it perfect and I got that here and it is warm water. It's like 90, 90 degrees, 98 degrees. And then it asked for three tablespoons of vegetable oil. Is that what it says? Let's see. It says, uh, yeah, yeah. Three tablespoons of vegetable oil. And I put it in this like espresso cup thing because I measured it as well. And now I mix the yeast in it. So it is interesting that you don't have to activate the yeast first, but maybe, maybe they just left it out. I don't know. This thing is like made of foil. Okay, so I opened the yeast packet and I'm gonna put, put it in this mixing bowl and I guess just get to mixing. You know, I wonder if you don't have to activate the yeast yet because if you mix that warm water with the sugar and flour, because there's sugar in this flour mixture, I feel like 
the yeast is, they're gonna activate either way. So, okay, well I'm gonna mix this for three minutes and we'll go from there. There is the dough. So I am done mixing the dough. Here it is. And uh, I'll just make it into a ball and let it rise in this container. And I might just uh, put it in the oven with the light on. And that should, that should be warm enough for it to rise. It's gonna have to rise until it doubles in size, which might take about 40, 30 minutes, 30 or 40 minutes. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. So here's what it looks like in the bowl. I think it will double. It's a, it's a pretty nice, it has a nice texture. If it's a, it's very soft. It's definitely has a lot of oil in it. So, which probably helps with just making it as soft as it is, I would say. I don't know. Maybe that's what it does. I don't know. But it's definitely a very, very nice texture to it. So I'm gonna let that rise and we'll go from there. Then maybe Emily will help me make it into a pretzel and and maybe we'll make some other stuff with it. I don't know. Um, so today I went to Meyer and I saw this new LaCroix. It, well, it's new to me. I'm sure it's been around. I don't know if it's been around, but it's the guava, uh, Sayopola. I'm saying that so wrong. It's just guava, okay? And I haven't tried it yet. And I don't even know what guava tastes like. So here it is. It tastes, uh, it tastes pretty good. It doesn't really taste like anything I've had before. Kind of tastes like some sort of grape flavor with tangerine or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Yeah, that's what it tastes like to me. So I've never really had guava. It tastes like grape and tangerine. So it's good. I, I mean, I don't know if I would buy it again, but here's the deal. LaCroix tend to grow on me. So if I have a box of them and I don't really like it, I might like it, you know, at the, by the end of that box. I mean, that's kind of, you know, I'm not a huge fan of Tangerine LaCroix, but I drink it enough to where I don't mind it. Same with uh, lime. I'm not a big lime person, but I don't mind it now. So the one LaCroix I cannot stand is berry and razzleberry. Um, well, I can stand razzleberry more than berry. I do not like the, the berry LaCroix. Or I don't think I like the coffee LaCroix. So, yeah. But this one's not bad. I like it. I like it. It's good. Um, and that's all. So I'll see you in a bit. I'll show you when it's risen. This is what it looks like now. You, I think I already showed you that, but that's what it looks like. So we'll, we'll, uh, I'll get back with you. Hello everyone. So we have our dough. It has doubled in size. It looks very perfect, it's very round. So Emily's with me. Hi. We're gonna try to make some pretzels. I've never, maybe I've made pretzels once, but I don't even know how to make the shape. So it says, form this into a dough roll that's what I think that's what it says. For, form it into a dough roll and cut it into eight to 10 pieces. So I'm gonna plop this out and roll it out. Oh, I'm taking this out. I assume I just, just do this. Look how airy it is. It's a very yeasty uh, dough. Look at all those webs. Hmm. So I'm going to Put this on here. It's very soft, very easy to roll. I guess I just cut it. I'm just gonna do this. I don't know what a, a dough roll is. I assume that's what this is, right? And you just separate it into eight different chunks. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this into eight sections and we'll just go from there. So let's see, we'll do one, two, eight, nine. So this one's gonna be a small pretzel. Maybe I'll make them, maybe I'll combine some. 
maybe I'll kind of, yeah, combine th these two and then we'll make pretzels. This would be a little nice pretzel roll, pretzel bun. We're going to now, here's Emily with me, we're both going to make pretzels. I... Flour? Oh, here's some flour. I don't... Uh, yeah, there you go. I, it says you can use a rolling pin, but Ooh, this, this dough, yeah, this dough is so soft. I don't think I need that. I'm just going to roll it into a little snake and then crisscross it. I get, yeah, crisscross it, I guess. I'm going to try to do this. So here is the picture. See, maybe you can see that. You see that pretzel dough right there? I'm going to try to do that. Oh, dang. She did it. So. Oh. Um, like a heart. I want these to be a little longer. So, wait, what do you do? This is, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> so here is my pretzel. That's what it looks like. And then we'll put it on a baking sheet that's behind me and go from there. Look at that. It's definitely not as big as I thought it would be, but uh, there's one pretzel, another pretzel. You know, I guess if you, you know those really big ones at the mall, I bet they use a lot of dough. Okay, we're gonna try to make a, a mall-sized pretzel. Looks like Emily's almost there with that one. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, it is. Okay, I know it's you know this looks long, but then it's gonna make like a pretzel like six inches long. I should make this less thick. Go for it. That's funny. Look at this pretzel. Wow. Y'all see this? It's definitely big. And they will get bigger because they'll rise again. So that's a nice pretzel. Here are our pretzels so far. This one's the big mama. Yeah, this one's gonna be bigger. Is that how pretzels look? Now I'm questioning mm -hmm. how pretzels look. Yeah. Emily is making the last pretzel and it's going to be a very large pretzel. And now, well, once that one's done, we'll put this lye on there. We'll, I guess, rub it on. You're supposed to, I'm just gonna use a paper towel because I don't have one of those brushes without taking forever, you know? You can take forever. Look at that being made, wow. This is so satisfying. Oh, wow, that is really good. Here are the other pretzels. So we're using two baking sheets. Here's baking sheet with some of the bigger pretzels. And then here's the other one with one big one and then just our smaller ones. So these will rise for about 20 minutes, but now we're going to put some of lye on there. And so here's a paper towel. I assume you just kind of, you know, put it on and then we'll put salt on it after we do this. It, the instructions just say, uh, gently whisk the lye in the water, brush it evenly over all uh, dough pieces. So. There you go. We'll put some salt. So here's our salt. And we'll just put that on there. This is a lot of salt. Okay, sorry if this is like insane amount of salt. Now I'm gonna make this one a cinnamon sugar one. Hopefully it doesn't burn. I don't know. Oh, this is oh, this is an embarrassing amount of cinnamon sugar. It just pours out so easily. But there it is. I'll probably uh I'll probably clean some of that sugar up and then just call it done. Okay, we'll show you the end product. We'll see you in a bit. And then I think Emily's going to talk about cake bake and her time with her mom and all of that. So, okay, goodbye. Hey everyone, I just wanted to give you a little update on my morning slash afternoon with my mom and with my sister-in-law at Cake Bake. So uh, we had a reservation. I made it like over a month ago and I could barely still get one. 
um, for today. So my mom, um, her birthday is coming up next week. And she had mentioned she liked to go to cake bake. So we decided that we might as well go. It was fabulous, of course. I um, wouldn't expect anything less from cake bake. So they actually have two locations. I can't remember if I told you that um, when I went the last time. Or were you vlogging when I went the last time? I don't know. I don't know. I went for my birthday in September. No, I wasn't. Oh, okay. Well, I went, I went for my birthday in September. That was my first time going to Cake Bake. And I went to the Broad, Broad Ripple location, which is closer to downtown. And well, it's like 15, 20 minutes away. Um, and then I, tr I looked at both locations. So the one in Broad Ripple and Carmel. And today at 10 a.m. was my only option in Broad Ripple. So that's where we went. It's like this little house that is looks like a fairyland, looks like a fairy threw up on a house, basically. Uh. <laughs> that's how one of my coworkers described it to me yesterday. I was like, that is accurate. I mean, it is wild. I think you actually put some pictures up of it the other day. So... Um, we, the three of us, I actually have two sister-in-laws. My other one, um, is on like a little trip. So she wasn't able to make it, but we decided to split everything that we got, which was kind of fun. And like, then you aren't over completely stuffed at the end and you can still eat cake. So we got the burrata, which was so good. What is, what's burrata what? cheese. It's like a white ball of soft cheese basically hmm. and it's not like super strong either like it's not so rich that you can't eat it so we had that with some pesto and olive oil on it and then some like sliced up tomatoes and they bring it with a like warm french baguette sliced up that is that's so drama it was so oh good i could have just eaten that um, and then second thing we got was a quiche, which it is not your average quiche. It was like this thick. It was mm -hmm. like a Chicago deep dish quiche. They make it with like custard is what they said. So it was like a creamy egg. Mm -hmm. And then it had like ham, rosemary, and something else in there. And then it had on top like an arugula salad. So we all shared that. Also very good. Like you just got one slice of that or you got a whole quiche? One slice of it. Okay. Because it was pretty big. Yeah. Like their portions are really big. Um, and then my mom looked at all the cake and decided what she wanted. We got the um, pixie fetti, which is basically fun fetti with like an almondy frosting. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the almond flavor and. Interesting. Almond flavor? I mean, it's just subtle. It's not like almond icing. Mm -hmm. That was extremely sugary and rich. Oh my word. I I actually remember now that I got that the last time I was, I was there and I wish we would have tried something different, like the chocolate. Because mm. it was too much, really. Like so sugary. But it was pretty. It was good. Um, and then I got like a cup of coffee and then they got, um, iced tea. Was the coffee good? Yeah. It was Illy. Like I L L Y. Hmm. I think you've probably seen it before. Yeah. It looks like Lily, but it just doesn't have the L on the, at the beginning. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we just like took our time cause we were supposed to also go get our nails done afterwards at noon at this place that is randomly found in broad ripple um so that didn't go over too well though <laughs> so we get there like 10 minutes early around 11 50 i had my phone like text confirmation with me for when i made the appointment and walked in it was like i just didn't even have an appointment and they didn't really like do anything mm -hmm. to help. I mean, I think one guy was kind of trying to, but it was clear that they don't use appointments. So I just don't understand why they even have that as an option on their website. I don't know. I feel like that happens frequently at nail salons. So 
That's fine. I already had in the back of my head, like this might not go well, but I did my best. We, we stayed for like 30 minutes and then we just realized this is going to take hours. So we're not that desperate. Yeah. So, but we still got to like sit there and talk. And then, um, I mean, I'm still going to see my mom on Friday for her birthday slash mother's day. Nice. Kind of a combo. Well, we both are going to go to dinner mm-hmm. in Newcastle. That'll be good. Actually, technically in Spiceland. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Tiny little town. Okay. Well, that was my day. And then I've been working on my stats test. Thank you for all the well wishes. I really, really need it. Oh my gosh. It's so terrible, guys. It's the worst. And this is test one of two. So just wish me luck. I'm going to keep going, (laughs) eat these pretzels and go to a farmer's market tomorrow. So that'll be good. Ooh, that'll be fun. All right. I guess I could have stepped back. I was really in your face. Oh, well. The camera's about to die. Hello, everyone. So we finished our pretzels and here they are. Uh, Maybe you can see them. This is the cinnamon sugar one. And then here are the... That one looks perfect. Yeah, this is a really nice one. So, here you go. Then here's some smaller ones, you know. And then here's another one. So, I will say, uh, these... Right, well, I don't know if you can see them. There's three of them that I baked uh, that did not turn out so well. So, I did two bakes and... Um, The first batch, they got a little overcooked and they're really dry. And they don't have that normal tech or normal pretzel flavor. So at least these three didn't. We're gonna try the other three I made and maybe they'll taste a little different, but the first batch was really dry, even though it looks really nice. I mean, they don't look burnt. They just, you know, they just, I don't know. They don't taste like regular pretzels. So I wonder if I did something wrong. I feel like I didn't. Yeah, you should try it. Does it taste any different? Mm. It tastes like a... Much better. Really? So... Mm. Yeah, so the second batch was a lot better. They're just overcooked. Yeah, these are just overcooked. So they're great. I mean... For as easy as it was, I would recommend the kit. I like the cinnamon one. The cinnamon one's really good. How long did you bake the second batch? Uh, about 11 minutes versus the uh, 20 minute recommendation. So I baked the first batch for about 16 minutes, but it widely varies depending on- How thick they yeah, are. How yeah, how, how they're rolled out. So yeah, so that's that. Well, I think I'm gonna end it here. Sounds good. So if you're still watching this, comment down below. There's some mustard right here. Comment down below, mustard. Do you like mustard? There's this really great mustard called Plockman's. It's made in Mantino. It was very good. Illinois. Illinois, Mantino, Illinois. So. Mm, That's good. Yeah. Yeah, so comment down below, Mustard. I hope you're all having a good weekend. I guess Emily and I are going with some friends to the farmer's market tomorrow, and I'm very excited about that. I love the farmer's market. It's so fun. It's so fun. So we're going there, and we'll see you tomorrow. So if no one's told you this today, you are loved, and this world's a better place because you are here. Goodbye.